to the air back on. It's so funny. Um, <laughs> and uh, and now that that happened, like I pay, I don't really watch much TV, but I do at the gym, and um, I see ads for eHarmony, and I'm like not so turned on by the couples, and. You know, they're just kind of like, they're like really harmony customers. Listen, if anyone has met in this room and fallen in love on the internet, God bless you, and have a wonderful, beautiful, happy life together. But, I'm just saying, advertising is about, is not about reality, it's about fantasy and, you know, getting something that's not real, and these couples are just a little too real. Um, and like, like, I don't think, I'm like, I can't fantasize about them. I'm not like waiting for the hot neighbor to come over, and, you know. Like, it's just, it's not gonna get me off, these, these people. So, and now, this is, just to segue this, don't get, don't think I'm like this weird, but my sister and her husband are very good looking. And I'm just saying that I think I should maybe pitch them to be in these ads, because, because like, they do look like a fucking fantasy couple. They, I mean, obviously the DNA, you know. <laughs> My sister is gorgeous, she really is. And her husband's tall and dark, he's literally the tall, dark, and handsome man. And um, anyway, so, um, at any rate, you know, they get married, it's all blah, 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 the wedding's beautiful, they go on the honeymoon. And then I think I'm off the fucking hook, right? Oh no, Friday comes around, and I'm sitting at a, a table in Brooklyn full of queers, and we're all having dinner, and suddenly people's phones start going off and texting, and everyone's like, uh, we can get married now. And we're all like, just wait. We were all like, oh shit. <laughs> like, no what's excuse. our excuse now? <laughs> like, like, oh baby, if I could, I would marry you, but I don't have that excuse anymore. And my mother, who, you know, tortured me as a 14 year old fat little boy, Dyke, you know, <laughs> now is like sending me emails like, get married to New York, it's so beautiful. And I'm like, oh my God, don't, no, 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 no. <laughs> you already have a married daughter, now, you know, get off my back. Um, <laughs> you know, anyway, it's just funny. But no, it was beautiful, it was a really beautiful night, just to, just to happen to, you know, be hanging out with a bunch of cool people and then, and then, you know, and, and then I, um, it's been sort of a beautiful pride to have happen. And I, I'm glad, you know, look, I, I'm, not, I'm not from New York, I'm from Atlanta, but I've lived there for a really long time. And I do tend to see, you know, media, like media centers tend to focus on themselves a lot. Like, if it snows in New York, it's a big deal. If it snows in Chicago, it's like, you know, you know. I'm sorry, it's just true. It's just, it's just media bias. It's just, it's geographical media bias. It's a thing. Someone's in school here, they can tell you all about it, I'm sure. Anyway, so I do hope that there's like loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of gay marriages on TV and loads of um, like, you know, gay dudes waving a piece of paper around and everyone's like, oh, that's what it is? It's a piece of paper. Great. That's what we were so upset about. <laughs> oh, they can go check, like, you know, inherit their property and stuff. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it nice to, it, it's, it's kind of funny, to, it's like, it's like really great to win an argument, but then you realize what a stupid argument it was in the first place. <laughs> 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 it's really, it's really no victory in that. You're like, oh, thank God I convinced you that the sky is blue because it's just kind of boring. But anyway, I'm very happy. I'm just sort of, I don't know, like, I have to form a new excuse. I've, you know. I'm terminally ill or so, I don't know, it's something, something magical. Unless, you know, the right chick goes along, comes along and then I'll be like, get away! Um. <laughs> I have that, that problem where it's like, if you want to be in this club, it's, you know, I don't want to be a member of the club that would have me. <laughs> I'm, I'm making all this stuff up. I'm very cute and lovable. I just happen to be single and insane right now. So, my, <laughs> I keep starting to play a song and then I have a story. I'm sorry, tonight's full of stories. Sometimes they're entertaining, sometimes they're just totally crazy. Um, thank you for coming tonight. This song was played at my sister's wedding and I hope that anyone <laughs> who wants to get married should and can and would and I love you Chicago and goodnight. <laughs>